Is that a beaver? This oh, is no. the York River, yep. York River's high, as per normal in the Bancroft area. And uh, we're on our way. Off to the Clark Mine for the morning. So, me again. Um, my charming wife Maggie and I, uh, we were just up visiting uh, my sister and her partner Jody. And uh, we on the way home we are going to hit up the Clark Mine. And uh, so right now we're just heading off from Cardiff along the road, through all the road cuttings. We're going to head through Wilberforce and then on the right hand side just after Mumford Road we'll find the Clark Mine. So I believe just up here we're on the road from Cardiff, yep, just up there around the bend um, is the turn off to the Chibugum, Kenmac Chibugamu Mine. Great place for radioactives. And it's in my upcoming uh, book, Rockhound, Volume 2, Rockhound, Opening the Treasure Chest. So this particular new volume, uh, I'm releasing it in about a week, uh, Rockhound, Opening the Treasure Chest, Volume 2 of my three-part series, which may become a fourth part. I may have a fourth, uh, fourth volume as well. But, um, you know, we're going to cover such areas as uh, the Grace Lake area and the amazing diopside and tremolite crystals that we find up there. Uh, we're going to visit Bear Lake, which is one of the, the collecting, the classic collecting localities in Ontario, where you find just amazing titanites and, and apatite. Uh, we're going to talk about the Bancroft Jamboree, which is a really uh, amazing event once a year. So there's a number of chapters, more or less a similar idea to um, Experience of the North, Volume 1, Rockhound and Experience of the North, Volume 1. Um, but as I say, hey, if you liked Volume 1, Go for Volume 2. I'm sure if you bought Volume 1, you will have liked it. So Volume 2 coming out very shortly. Same place, www.rockhoundbook.com. That's where you can order it. Uh, it's off the Lulu website. Right near where the, the, uh, the Clark Mine is. Sorry, brain slipping a bit here. Uh, just a beautiful little waterfall along the side of the road. Uh, I think it's a 648 up from Wilberforce towards uh, Harcourt. And uh, just many places like this all along the way. Check out all this abandoned stuff at the Clark Mine. You might wonder why I sound so out of breath. Real difficult walking up this. You keep breaking through the ice on top of the snow, and sinking like knee deep. So, I mean, cool stuff in the woods here though. It's all the sort of remnants of the old mining industry up here. Uh, we've got some trenches up there, uh, an attic just down that way. It goes underneath uh, the hillside. We're in the same rock, basically, that uh, you've got uh, the Trip New Age Mine, which I'm going to visit in the summer. Amazing uranite crystals found there. Richardson Fishing Mine, that's in my new book, Volume 2. Rockhound opening the treasure chest. Uh, it's the same, same rock, basically. So we're looking at, in the 1940s, they were mining a fluorite here. And uh, the 50s, they went for various types of radioactives. So that's what's common to all of the mines in this particular area. Fluorite, Dwyer, there's another one, the Dwyer mine. We're talking fluorite, uranite, thorium, all that kind of stuff. So beautiful cubic crystals of uranite are found in this area. I'm not sure exactly what this machine was, but it was something to do with processing the fluorite. You can see an old concrete foundation there. Um, I guess the, uh, the actual shafts from inside the mine are up on top of the ridge line. And down there we've got the 648. We're not so far outside Harcourt. Here's one of the uh, exploratory trenches of the Clark Mine, also known as the Top Spar Mine. A lot of uh, clino pyroxenes have been found here. I know Michael Adamowitz has some very good pictures of them. So. As I say, I'll be back in the summer to do a better look here. I'm going to also go to the trip mine on the same visit. Uh, 
I know the ad, ad is just down there. I can see where the, the drop off is. But I'm in a bit of a rush here because Maggie's waiting for me down at the car. She gets real nervous when, I, uh, when I'm not back when I say I just said I'd pop out for a minute. Well, it's been all, almost 45 minutes, so I don't think she's too impressed by now. She'll be sitting down there getting real worried. So I'm going to hurry back. But return visit this summer. We'll do some real good looking for the various radioactives and other minerals in this area. Stay tuned.